Every coaster ride is a lesson in physics. It begins when a train is pulled up the first hill by an electric-powered chain and then has to rely on its own momentum to coast to the end of the ride. Next, passengers feel the giddy sensation of free fall when gravity pulls them down faster than their stomachs expect to go. As the train travels, friction gradually slows it. But there's still enough energy to hurtle through a series of acrobatic stunts. The turns in the track are made progressively tighter, so the passengers continue to feel accelerating forces, even though their speed is actually decreasing. But the lesson in physics doesn't stop here. When the riders enter a loop, they experience another force that can literally take their breath away. The laws of physics set the rules of the ride and make it safe. But the thrill is in fearing that anything is possible, that the very next turn could send you hurtling into space. After the ride's built, then you really get a hand lower. More than half of the coasters in the U.S. are made of steel, like the Drakenfire, with its high-tech thrills. But others harken back to an earlier time. Grizzly at Paramount's King's Dominion in Virginia is a modern coaster that just looks old. Each morning, a worker spends as much as two hours inspecting the track and hammering down loose nails, just as his predecessors would have done a century ago. The look of a wooden superstructure is part of the allure. I mean, it looks as though it's rickety when, in fact, you know it's not rickety. I mean, it's one of the safest rides in the park. It's designed to look rickety. It's designed to scare you. <laughs> not stand up, okay. Possessor's coming, here we go. does not have to be higher or faster to be an outstanding ride. The lift hill is under 90 feet. But once you go around that first turn into the second drop, all hell breaks loose. They shimmy and shake too much, but actually they're designed that to expend all the energy that is in the train. Obviously, a wood coaster cannot turn you upside down the way a steel coaster can. But on the other hand, a wood coaster is a living, breathing organism, as it were, because it is very much affected by weather. If it's warm, humid, damp, dry, hot, cold, whatever, the ride is almost always different on a wooden coaster. There is no end to the search for the perfect ride. 